Okay, so welcome back. In this video, I will be teaching you how to set the file pointer or move the file pointer of a specified file. Okay, so to move the file pointer of a specified file, we first need to obtain the file's file handle. Okay, so to obtain the file's file handle, we just use the create file function or open file function if you want. And this was already explained in one of my previous videos. So just check the description down below. Next is we use the set file pointer to move the file pointer of the specified file. Okay. So the set file pointer has four parameters. Okay. So the first parameter is the move method or where do you want the starting point of the file pointer to be. Okay. So there are three parameters that you can choose from it's either file begin so if it's file begin then the starting point is the beginning of the file then file current so file current is the current value of the file pointer or where your file pointer is currently is and lastly file end which will put the starting point of your file pointer to be at the end of the file okay next is the distance to move high and distance to move low so basically these are just pointers to the lower and higher order of 32 bits that specifies the number of bytes to move the file pointer okay but usually we just set these two values to zero or we just push zero okay and lastly we just push the file handle of the file that we want to move the file pointer okay and then we simply call set file pointer okay so this is how you move the file pointer of a specified file so set file pointer is mainly used in conjunction with write file in which it can write the contents of of a buffer to a file okay so and we will be discussing that in our next video okay so for more information about set file pointer, just check the description down below and I hope to see you again next time.